can't believe this. Just calm down and tell us what happened. They took Kit, okay? Who did, Billy? It was Torres and a ton of NSA guys. He totally betrayed us. And he was talking about the car project as a night automated roving robot. I mean, I didn't even know that project was real. Are you sure he said car? He shut us down, Mike. The SSC is over. History. They took the AI chip out of Kit and scrapped the program. I mean, they took my cell phone, for God's sake. My father was the program. Of course they shut it down. Don't listen to her, Billy. She hasn't had her morning picture of mojitos yet. Also, I found a package in Grayman's office addressed to the both of you. I managed to get it out before the NSA had their garage sale. They sent it overnight. Yeah, it's here. I'll take a look and get back to you. You ready to look at this? I'm getting dressed. Hello, Mike. If you're looking at this, it means I'm gone, and there are some things you need to know. First of all, you passed. You were used as an experiment. You were the original driver for the car project. Now, there was a fatal flaw in Carr's AI, which made him uncontrollable and extremely aggressive. He reprogrammed himself, people died. After the program was scrapped, it was decided that your memory be wiped. They said it was for your own protection that you must never know, but still, I should have told you the truth, Mike. You're like a son to me. I hope someday you'll find a way to forgive me. It was developed in the wake of the car failure. It was a means of perfecting the AI with the ultimate goal of relaunching the car project. I was the only one that stood in the way, and now that I'm gone, I'm sure they'll be moving ahead very quickly. This must never be allowed to happen. Car is a devastating weapon, and only the beginning. They believe the kit's AI can override the flaws in car's programming, but they're wrong. This is a disaster waiting to happen. What the hell did you do? must protect Kit's AI and stop Carr. This is vital, Mike. I just hope I'm not too late. They're going to relaunch the car program. That's why they took Kit. I'm going back. I'm going to the beach. Sarah, we have to stop this. Good luck with that. Sarah. Mike is not my fight anymore. When you're done feeling sorry for yourself, you let me know. Billy, get Zoe and meet me someplace safe. We've got work to do. This whole thing is totally out of control. They've been through our apartments, okay? I'm afraid to even go home. I've hacked into the old SAT streams. Everything's already been recoded. Let's slow down. What does that mean? It means we have no idea where they've taken Kit or how to find him. All right, let's think about it. What would he do? Kit? He's a conscious being. He would know he's getting shut down, right? Yeah. Okay, then what would he do? How would he help us? I don't know. I mean, it happened so fast. They walked in, he had maybe a minute before he went dark. He would have tried to get us a message. Now, I checked my email accounts. There was nothing there. What about you guys? The government can access our email. That wouldn't be secure. Kit would know that. Okay, then what wouldn't they be able to access? How could he get us a message that they wouldn't know about? Come on, think. I don't know. I don't know. I know Kit. He wouldn't go down without a fight. He gets that from me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, the jam house. The what house? It's where Kit and I would share music files. It's online. I was using music to help Kit develop his AI personality protocols. Grayman loved the idea because Kit was learning about human behavior from the perspective of musical narrative. There it is. A file sent from Kit yesterday, literally seconds before he was shut down. Read it. Oh, it's, a, it's a song, Absurd by Fluke. Musical narrative, huh? I thought you were talking about Mozart, you know, the classics. Nah. Kit likes classical, but deep down he's in a trip hop and rave. What can I say? The car's a groove machine. Cool song, but where's the message? Well, maybe play it backwards. Nice right, time's up, Lynn. Binary. What? Binary. Zeros and ones, Kit's first language. If there's a message in there, it's in the code. Break it down. Check it out. I did a comparison of Kit's version of the song and the original, and look. There are anomalous sections of code. They don't fit. They're out of sync with the song. If we calculate a numerical value for the anomalous sections... Exactly. Okay, what the hell are you guys talking about? Da, 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 da. They yield a numerical value of 232323. Two, three, two, three. Wow, that is so not helpful. Wait, it's a pattern. Try it this way. 23, 23, 23 as three numbers. Try it as a letter. 23rd letter of the alphabet is W. w. 
Damn. Oh, she's still beat. No, it's three W's. W, W, W. The World Wide Web. Kit's on the net. Is that possible? It is. And considering he only had a few seconds and the sheer volume of data he had to dump, it would have been the only option he'd had. How would that work? He would have had to use data packets. Millions of tiny bits of data that he could scatter and embed in various websites, like cookies. You'd never know they were there unless you were looking for them. And we can retrieve them. If we can find them. I've got it. www.michaelknight.org. Hey, kid. I knew you were out there somewhere. Damn. What's the matter? It's like I thought. Files are ginormous. We can't do this on my laptop. We couldn't do this on a hundred laptops. We're gonna need some major computing power. I know a place. No way. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. 